good thing about our students having access to the internet in our classrooms is the availability of a tremendous amount of sources. The bad thing is that they have availability to a tremendous amount of sources, and a lot of those sources aren't always the best in order for them to complete their research. And so sometimes it will be beneficial for us to kind of create a structure of good sources for them to use as they conduct their research. And so in this video, I'm gonna focus on doing such a thing with Google's programmable search function. Okay, so if you go in and type basically Google programmable search engine, you'll get to a screen where you'll be able to create a search engine and add websites that you want your students to specifically get their information from. So as you see, I've already created some for my students already, but it's really easy to create. Uh, you just click on add, you have uh, to name your search engine. So I'm going to do mine on Native Americans uh, before European contact. And then what do I want them to search? So specific sites or pages. And all I'm going to do is just go to the websites that I want them to use in their research. So for example, we're just going to copy and paste these websites Click on add and it'll add the site. All right, so for the Hohokam, we'll do that for each of them. All right, I have another Native American group, Yacoma Pueblo. We'll add this site as well. All right, and this is National Park Service site. So this is a good source for my students to get information on these Native American groups. I also have uh, the Britannica Encyclopedia. I want them to use. All right, we have a couple in there, so I'll just do it for each of the pages that I want them to focus on. Right, we have an article on American Heritage. History Encyclopedia for the Mound Builders, and again for the Iroquois. I usually try to do two or maybe three websites um, for each one that I would like them to, to go ahead and search information on. Right now that I've gone and added my websites, okay, can allow them to search the entire web if I want to image search. Uh, safe search settings, uh, you know, set those. All right, click I'm not a robot, and then I can click on create. All right, and just like that, I now have my search web, uh, engine created, all right, in which they'll only be able to um, search those specific websites that we've added to this search engine. And you can copy and paste that into your LMS, your learning management system, or if you're using Google Classroom or Wakelet. And we can go ahead and preview and just see how it works here. So when your students click on the web, uh, the link that you're going to provide them for the search engine, the search box will come up on the top left, just like this. And so we have the Chinook, for example. All right, and here's the two sources that I wanted them to look for. Um, let's say I wanted them to look for maize. All right, here's all the websites that I put in there that come up with maize. Okay, so they'll be able to do their research on the specific websites that you want them to look at. So you have some control over the information that they'll be accessing, kind of limits the sources of information that they're going to be looking through and provide kind of a little bit more structure to their research as they really start to develop those skills on learning to use good sources and what exactly they're trying to do with their research. All right, now that you've learned about Google's programmable search engine, go ahead and give it a try and see how it works in your classroom. And be sure to share what you have learned with your colleagues so they can benefit from this resource as well.